So this is video number five of our five part series on mastering support and resistance. And I've saved the best till last. So let's jump on the charts. So in our final video of our five part series on mastering support and resistance, we're going to talk about identifying strengths of a trend. Now, I believe this is a subject that just isn't talked about enough. There's so many videos about support and resistance, you know, when to buy a support, when to sell at resistance, you know, a, uh, a trend in market, looking for highs and lows, lower highs, trends and pullbacks. But people or traders rarely talk about identifying strengths of a currency pair and I'm not talking about looking at indicators like MACDs and RSI's and waiting for price to reverse or go overbought or sold actually measuring the the uh, the trends and pullbacks in a currency pair because if price is in an uptrend you want to know when that trend is starting to slow down and potentially reversing because what you want to do as a trader is buy at the bottom of an uptrend and you want to sell at the top of a downtrend and this is a subject that's just rarely talked about but we're going to do it in our final video and you'll actually see me in the next part simulating it where i make around a 15 percent gain just going over that concept okay now what we have learned so far in this series that a trend will look typically like this here okay you'll have an uptrend uh, you'll have a pullback, you'll have a continuation, you'll have a pullback, and you'll have a continuation, okay? And this is obviously the same for downtrend, okay? It looks something like this here. Now, on this whiteboard, it looks very simple, but in reality, and like I've spoke about it before, it doesn't always look like that. It looks something like this here, messy, kind of pulling back here, you know, it, it kind of looks messy. But even this concept here is the same. Okay, you've still got your uh, you've got your new high, you've got a higher low, you've got a new high here, you've got a higher low there, you've got a new high here. So even though it was messy, it is still creating higher highs and higher lows. And also, what we talked about in this series is we talked about support and resistance, supply and demand areas, where basically, I'll just make this a different color, you will have a demand zone at the bottom, you'll have a uh, supply zone at the top here, and what you'll do is you'll get price doing something like this here, okay? And what we've basically got here is we've got an uptrend. So we've got a lot of buyers buying from this demand level, driving price to this supply area at the top. And all these little levels, let me just make this a different color again, all these little levels here are support and resistance, okay? So as you'll see here, you'll have on the bigger time frames, you'll have demand, supply, and in between these, the intraday time frames, you're gonna have the support and resistance, the price, the areas where price is uh, you know going to pull back and it's gonna bounce off or break and everything like that. Because what we've already established is we know when price is in an uptrend like this here, okay, resistance will get broken, support will get held. OK, so we know in an uptrend, right, that support will hold price, resistance will get broken. OK, and we know when price is in a downtrend that support will get broken and resistance will get held. OK, nice little break and retouch here. OK, now we can go into it a lot more detail. OK. And to do this, we're going to call this, I don't know, I actually use this term in some of my other videos talking about Bob the runner, okay? Let's say that price is in an uptrend like this here, okay? And price pulls back like this here, and then it continues up like this here. What we want to do as traders is measure the momentum in this uptrend and pullback. OK, believe me when I say this, just stick with me. OK, when price rallies up like this here, 
it tells us as traders that there's a lot of buyers in the market okay it means there's a lot of momentum a lot of people perhaps buying from a from a support level here or demand level okay but there's a lot of buyers in the market big rally up big trend up okay now what do you think is going to happen where when buyers bought here what do you think is going to happen when price comes to here okay they're going to take their profit. They've made pips, they've made 50 or 100 pips, and they're going to start to take profit. So they're no longer buying this particular currency pair, they're taking profit. And what happens is price pulls back, okay? And then when price pulls back, what do you do? You spot the higher high, you spot the higher low, which is here, you start buying again, okay? And we get another rally up like this here. But what do you think happens now, okay, in the market? Well, this is the interesting part. Can you see how this move here was smaller than this move here? So as a trader or as an experienced trader now, this tells me that the momentum is slowing down. OK, this trend is getting weaker. So all the buyers that bought here are slowly starting to take profit. OK, price is slowing down and it gets confirmed by this really long pullback okay and we see this typically in the market when we move on to the charts you will see this happening okay and then price continues up again and then it pulls back again now even though this is still an uptrend it's still creating higher highs and higher lows okay the momentum here is getting weaker the strength for this trend is getting weaker okay the trend up was initially a big powerful one then the second trend up was slightly weaker, okay? And then this one here was even more weaker. In fact, we didn't actually go much higher than the previous high just here. And not only that, the pullback. Notice how the pullback here and here got deeper and deeper and deeper. This tells me that the strength for this trend is slowing down right and this is where we would normally look at the higher time frames and there would be some kind of perhaps higher time frame uh, resistance area or supply area okay what this tells me as a trader is that we had a big move up and as we start to come up into this supply zone or resistance zone all these buyers at the bottom here start taking uh, taking profit okay because you know you don't want to be you don't want to be buying into a supply zone or buying into a resistance area you want to be selling from a resistance area don't you so everybody starts taking profit and you will see this over time what you will see in the when you get an uptrend is you'll get something like this you'll get an uptrend then you'll get a pullback then you get an uptrend and then you'll get a pullback and then you'll get an uptrend like this here. And notice how it's getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And then eventually you'll get something like this here, right? And you'll probably come up like this here and this here. So what's actually happened here is we had a big move up. I'll make this a different color so you can see, okay? We initially had a big move up. We had a nice little pullback. Perfect opportunity to buy here because the, it's still a strong uptrend it's still a weak pullback, okay? It means that the pullback is short, right? It's big move up, pullback, buy, bang, rally up here. Perfect opportunity just here. Then as price comes up here, and this is this is, this is is the part where you lot would, would, you know, as beginners, this is where you would potentially buy because you would buy here thinking, well, hang on here. Well, we've had an uptrend. We've had a pullback. We've had an uptrend. I'm going to buy here. But you're actually forgetting, well, hang on here, this move up was shorter than this move up. And then you get a deeper pullback. See this pullback here? This is deeper. It's deeper than this one. It's took longer for price to pull back. Then we have another move up, right? But even though we've created a new high just here, it's not really that high at all. Then we get another pullback and you're probably still in a trade, right? I mean, if you bought here, you kind of break even at the minute, right? Nothing's really happening. And you're thinking, well, hang on here. It's making higher highs. It's making higher lows. Why is this currency pair not going up? Well, look at the signs. It's getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And then what happens is we create kind of a triple top pattern. We create a new low in the market just here. Okay. And then we get that big sell off here. We get that small pullback 
and this is where you sell here, right? Bang, move down. If you don't spot this early, you're basically selling down here. That move has already happened, right? So uh, to make to become to become a really good uh, trader that can trade support and resistance, what you'd want to be looking at is first of all, I make it red, is identifying the key area that has driven price up, right? So you see price comes down into a perhaps a support line, okay? And you've got a big rally up. First of all, you want to be able to identify that level to say that yes, okay, this is the reason why buyers are driving price up. You then want to see a resistance area. Let, let's just make this resistance area here. You want to see that resistance area get broken, which confirms, okay, what did I say initially? If price is in an uptrend, it's going to break resistance. And what's going to hold price? Support. You want to see that pull back to a support line. And this is where you'd buy a currency pair. This would be the perfect opportunity to buy. Okay, price comes up. What you would do as a beginner is you would buy here right? Thinking, ah, look, I'm missing this. I'm missing this uptrend movement, right? You're getting into trades out of fear that you're missing out. Then price pulls back and you're thinking, ah, I'm going to buy again. I'm going to buy again. Price fails to go higher and then it reverses on yourself, right? The opportunity to buy would have been here at the support line or, or demand zone or here at the break and retouch of this support. Anything up here, you've already missed the market. You've already missed the move. And this is about identifying key areas of support and resistance, identifying strengths of a trend and knowing which support and resistance area is going to hold. So let's jump on the charts now and actually put what I've showed on this whiteboard in motion and we'll break down a currency pair together. So let's jump on the charts. In today's video, we're going to be simulating GPUSD one hour time frame. Now, in all of my other videos, I was simulating two time frames, a higher time frame to look for support and resistance, areas of structure, and a lower time frame for my entry points. But in today's video, we're just going to simulate the one time frame because I want you to be able to see all of the structure patterns, strength of a trend slowing down. I want you to be able to read the charts rather than getting frustrated and confused by looking at multiple time frames. We're going to strip everything back. We're just going to focus on the one time frame in today's video, be able to see the patterns that I'm seeing. And then over time, as you build up the confidence, you can start to introduce another time frame and actually see the coloration, see how time frames work with each other to give you the bigger picture. Now I've chosen the one hour time frame because it's just an all round time frame that most traders will look at. If you're on intraday scalper, scalping off the one five or 15 minute time frame, you'll be looking at the one hour time frame as well for your areas of support and resistance. And if you're a swing trader and looking off the daily, weekly and monthly time frame, you'll also be looking at the one hour for your entry points. So what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to go over everything I have taught you so far. So let me just make myself a little bit smaller. And I want to break down what we're going to be doing in today's training video. OK, now, as we've already established, you get uptrends like this. OK, uptrend, pullback, continuation pullback continuation okay and we know that if price is in an uptrend it's going to be breaking resistance and support will hold it yeah it's going to break resistance uh, and support will hold it and again vice versa if it's in a downtrend you got a downtrend pullback downtrend pullback and we know support will get broken and we know resistance will hold price if resistance doesn't hold price so let me do that again if resistance does not hold price so that's a support now resistance and if resistance doesn't hold price and it breaks it then we're no longer in a downtrend we're now going into an uptrend okay now we can also talk and talk about strengths of a trend okay and this is something that i want you to be able to see as well price isn't just about uptrend pullback uptrend pullback okay we also need to look at the strengths and lengths of a trend so give me an example here if price is in an uptrend like this here big move up what does that tell me it tells me there's a lot of buyers in the market yeah right and then you get a pullback well we know why pullbacks happen because all the buyers that bought here are now closing their position off here they've made money they've made some pips so price pulls back and then you buy again 
okay? But this is what I want you to be able to see. You notice how this uptrend is shorter than this one, okay? Why is that? Well, this is telling me that the strength of this trend is slowing down, that the buys in the market is getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And it confirms that by a quick pullback. If this pullback is deeper, it means that the market is taking more breathing space, okay? It means that the strength is dying down. And then we might get one little push up like this here, and we reverse and go into a downtrend. We can actually see that downtrend happening before it actually happens. Let me give you an example here, right? USD CAD one hour time frame. Look at this big sell off here, okay? We know when we get a big sell off that there's a lot of sellers in the market here. Well, what do you think happens when all the sellers sold here and they're now in money? They're now making pips. They're going to be starting closing their position off, aren't they? And this is where price pulls back. Okay, so here, a selling opportunity here would be perfect, right? Because you've got a big trend down here, confirming a lot of sellers in the market. Price pulls back, which is normal, okay? Because that's what traders do once they make some money. They close their positions off, right? Then you get a continuation down. But notice how this move down is a lot smaller than this one. Can you all see that? Okay, look at the pullback next. We have a pullback. We have another trend down and we actually have a deeper pullback. It's almost like this currency pair has given up. It's like it's gone from a downtrend. It's it took a breathing space. It decided, yeah, you know what, I'll carry on going down again, but I want another break. Then it's come down even more and it wants a deeper break, deeper rest. You can see now what's happening, right? You can see the strength of this trend slowing down. Now, if you didn't see this and you're a beginner, you would sell here thinking, oh, hang on here, this is a downtrend, Jamie. This is downtrend, I'm selling, right? But I look at this from experience and go, but the, the strength is slowing down. We've got more pullbacks than we have actually moving down. In fact, this move here, this move, this pullback here, is higher than this pullback, right? So this is no longer a downtrend. This is actually an uptrend, right? Or, or potentially going into an uptrend because you can't have an uptrend unless you've got a pullback and that pullback has to be higher, right? So this pullback here has to be higher than the previous one, right? But you can see how the strength here is slowing down. And then we come one more down here, or just my microphone's in the way, uh, my uh, webcam's in the way, and then we get a big move up. So we can actually see this happening, can't you? You can actually see it happening. Let me show you, let me just uh, let me just wind forward, okay? And I'll find you, here, look at this, right? Look at this, look. Look at this, big move up. All the buyers here start closing their positions off because they made money. Price pulls back, you buy here. This would be like the perfect buy. This would be the perfect buy. And then what happens? Bang, big move up. Then, price slows down right it slows down see how it slows down at this level okay it slows down it big move up pull back big move up deeper pull back small move up sell drop yeah you can see what you can see this happening before it actually happens okay you'll get something like this trend down pull back trend down pull back trend down pull back trend down pull back Right, you can see how the strength is slowing down, right? Price, for price to come up to a level and suddenly reverse, right, there must be a really big wall, right? There must be a really significant level for price to come straight up to a level and reverse. Most of the time that doesn't happen. Most of the time you'll get a resistance area here and price will come up and it will slowly slowly lose momentum as it comes to this level right and then it will come to this level like this here it will chop around for a bit you might get some kind of fake breakout come down pull back like this here right most of the time that is what happens right so let's do some trading now okay let's do some trading gpusd now first of all Okay, let's look at GPUSD. I don't know what's going to happen here. Okay, because literally I'm trading blindly at the minute. I'm literally on one time frame and I've got nothing on my chart. So bear with me on this one, right? I've got to, I've got to get a perfect entry point. But 
instantly, GPUSD, what are we seeing? We're seeing downtrend, okay? So I'm already looking for sales, okay? Downtrend, pullback, downtrend, yeah? There's the uh, there's the low, there's the previous low, there's the previous low before that one, there's the previous high, there's the previous high, there's the previous high. You get the idea, right? You've got you've got a big sell-off here, you've got a pullback. Well, that would be a really good selling opportunity, just there, because trend down, pullback. Then you, you sell off here, price kind of really struggling at this level here, but then we get a big sell-off just here. And this is what I want you to focus on, that big sell-off here. So what I'm looking for realistically is price to pull back somewhere to around here. That would be nice. Nice little sell just in. Wait for price to pull back to this level, sell down. Yeah, right, that's what I would look for at this level, okay? I'd wait for price to pull back and I'd sell the market. It might happen, it might not, okay? I'm just breaking the charts down, right? We don't know what's going to happen until it actually happens. We know there's sellers in the market, right? And we know price is probably gonna continue down, but we need to get that entry point perfect, okay? So, so one or two things are either gonna happen. Price is gonna pull up or continue down, okay? And we continue down, okay? Okay, now I'm just going to wind it forward a little bit. I want to see what happens at this level. Okay. Okay. We might. Okay, good. Ah, hello. I'm interested now. Okay, right. Oh, do we come to this level? Come on. Nice. Okay, right. So this is what I see is happening. Okay, this is what I see. And I want you to take note of it. Okay. Um, this is what I see. And this is why I've chosen this level here. Okay, let's first of all, zoom in. And let's have a look at what, I, what happened so far. Okay, let's zoom in here and move this simulation out of the way so you can see uh, here. Right, can you see this area of support and resistance just there? See that? Price came down, come back up, come down, came back up, came down, retouched it. See that retouch there? Right, nice little sell. Okay, because you can actually see the break and retouch here. In fact, this would be a perfect sell off the one and five minute time frame because you've got the one hour resistance here. You've got a one hour break and retouch. Break, new low. There's the pre there's the previous low. There's a new low. Price pulls back, drops. Okay, obviously I haven't got the one or five minute time frame, so I can't actually enter on this because I would have normally entered. Would have got I would have gone break and retouch, sell, right? But what we have done is we've come back up to this level, right? And again, you can't really see it on the one minute, but see how we're slowing down at this level. See these rejection wicks here? See how we came up to it and we're slowing down? Remember, the last thing I said is that when price comes up to a level, it will slow down to it, right? Because people start closing their positions off, right? Now I'm looking for a sell because if you zoom out on the bigger picture, what have we got here? We've got a trend down pull back, trend down, pull back, yeah? Right, see what I'm doing here? Trend down. Forget everything else, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a trend down, pull back. And what I've noticed here is this structural level here. And this has happened right now. Okay, you can see the break and retouch. So this is a level where price is reversed from. So what I normally do is you see how we've come up to this level now, see how we've come up to that level, I would not be surprised if the next one or two candles turn red. So, so see that? See that there? This, off the one minute time frame, would have been a perfect selling opportunity at this level. This is literally where I tend to sell, okay? And this is normally where I take a trade, okay? Obviously, I'm off the one minute time frame, so I can't actually do that. Normally, I'd go down to the one minute, scale down, and just give you an example here. If I just bring up the one minute, can I bring up the one minute on this now? No, I can't. I can't bring up the one minute. But yeah, I mean, literally, this is where I'd be selling. I, I would already be in a trade. But to give an example here, right, we'll take a trade. Okay, 1% risk. We'll put our stop loss here. So 40 pips, and we won't set a take profit. We'll just, there's my stop loss, and we'll see if we can, price comes down, right? Okay, now price is coming back up. 
So I might, oh, then we reject again. Okay, that's great. Okay, nice little rejection wick. Okay. It looks like we're going to come back up. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. This is my target done. Okay, I'm going to close this position off. Uh, done. And we made a nice little 1.58% gain. Normally, to be honest with you, I'd probably make a lot more. I'd actually make a lot more percentage, probably like a 5 or 10%. Obviously, I'm doing this on the one hour. You know, you get the idea, <laughs> okay? But you see what I'm doing here, right? You see the trend down, trend down, pull back. Uh, we'll, we'll get cool heel as well. Can trend down, pull back. Now the next question is, and this is what I want you to take note of: this support line here, okay? Does this support line get held just here? That's the question. Now you wouldn't buy from here because that would be against the trend. Right, that'd be against the trend if you bought here. But you can actually see as well, you can actually see the resistance, it would break and retouch just, just there. See that break, retouch, drops. I wanna see what that support line does. Because if that support gets broken, right, then we're in a downtrend. Because remember what I said, if it's a downtrend, support gets broken, right? But let's see what happens, right? We'll do next bar, okay? Um, okay. Okay, so we continue down. Okay, so it's still a downtrend, still a healthy downtrend as well. It's still a healthy downtrend. Okay, we're still in a big downtrend. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay. Now, now, now I see what I'm doing. Okay. Keep an eye on what I'm seeing. Okay. You see how we had big trend down, pull back, and we sold here, didn't we? We sold here, which was good. Good sell. Good sell. Price has struggled now. See how it's struggled? It's, it's it's really struggled at this level. It's not going any lower. See that? And it's now doing an uptrend. There's our pullback. There's a continuation down. There's a higher high. This is the exact same setup on USD CAD. Uh, see how that pullback is higher than this one? And this one, here, this one here is even higher. So what I'm looking for now is potentially a pullback to the upside, yeah? That's what I'd be looking for. I just want to confirm that though by let's keep an eye on it, right? I want to keep an eye on what's happening because there's an area of resistance just here, okay? I'm just going to keep an eye on this one here. What I'd be looking for is price to put, you know what? You know what I'm looking for? This would be a nice little buy just here. See how price comes down to here? That would be a nice little buy. Just there. See how we spike right into this support line? Take a buy here. Take a buy here. Let's just take a buy and I'll break down the setup afterwards. As I can't put a stop. Let's go with a stop loss of 40 pips. Okay. Bang. Come on. Hit my target. Done. There we go. See that? Boom. Made 3.2% gain. How did I know that? Right. And again, keep an eye on what I'm seeing, right? Big sell off here, which is great. We had a sell off, which is perfect. That was where we took our original sell. Price pulls back, uh, trends down. Pulls back, trends down. Pulls back, trends down. Doesn't really go much lower. See here? See how it doesn't go much lower? Okay, there's the previous low. There's the previous low. Look at that move from here to here. It's big, isn't it? This one, not so big. Then it actually creates a new high. There's the previous high. So, you can see what's happening, right? Well, if I'm seeing this, I'm seeing a trend, and I'm seeing an uptrend. So there's the pullback, there's the uptrend, there's the pullback. And I literally marked up this level here because this is a break and retouch to the upside, yeah? You see that? A lot of trade. this is something that I want you to take note of. A lot of traders look at this and they go, oh, well, you know, it's perhaps an imbalance in price. It's a institutional taking out retail traders. It's a, you know, it's some kind of conspiracy complicated strategy, but it's, it's actually really not. It's just reading the charts, you know, the highs and lows, right? You see how we've come back up to this level, right? Right? And I mark this up here. You see how we come back up to that level, right? You see how price came into the, you see how buyers came, or buyers, but let me rephrase that, how sellers came into the market and sold here. Remember what I said in many, many videos before this one. If price comes up to a level and reverses price, that is a level that I'm interested in. 
right? So I know when price comes up to this level here, right, that all the buyers are now starting to close their positions off and we could see sellers now coming back into play. We could see perhaps price come down and buy again. What I will know is though, we will get a reaction from this level, right? We've seen it before here, we'll see it again, okay? So I, I would actually take a sell here. I would actually, this is literally where I'd go down to one and five minutes because watch this, I bet you will get a red candle at this level, ready? There's a rejection, Rick. there's a red one. We will probably get another green one, which is pushing price up. And the reason why push, uh, price is being pushed up is because you've got this break and retouch to the upside, see that? But again, again, we will probably get another red candle. Okay, we break to the, oh, look at that. See, see? It, 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 you can see it happening before it actually happens, right? Now, the next question is, where are we gonna go? Are the sellers gonna come into play? or are the buyers going to come into play? Because this is a level here. Let's see what happens, right? I mean, we could actually, I've got a funny feeling we could go back up. Okay, I've got a funny feeling we could go back up because we've we've literally spiked right into this zone just here. See that zone? Right, I'll actually take a buy here. I'll take a buy. Because what we could see, and again, this is sometimes you have to kind of go with your gut instinct on this one, is look at this. Uptrend, pull back, uptrend, pull back, uptrend, pull back, uptrend, right? See that? Uptrend. We might actually break this. Who knows, right? Let's see what happens. I'm going to put a stop loss of 40. For some reason, I'm going for 40 pip stop losses. Okay. Let's see what happens here, right? So, like I said, I don't know what happens. I'm just trying to read the charts, right? I don't think we're going to come down. I just don't think we are going to come down because we've gone quite. I just don't. I just don't see it happening, right? Okay, so we come up, nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna. You know what? I might actually close off a half of this trade, right? Oh, where's my trade here? Um, charts. Oh nope, trade. Here we go. Here, close part of the trade. So I'm going to close off zero point. 15 there you go there close boom done but i've actually left i've actually left another in fact let me move that uh, that that uh to break even hold on give me some tr trades um move my stop loss how do i move my stop loss when order is 10 pips move my sl to 10 pips there we go there there we go There we go there. I don't think it's gonna, I can't move my stop. Basically, I don't know how to move my stop loss to break even, because we might actually go higher. We might, like I said, we might go higher and we might actually go to this area here. See that, see that area there? We might do, I mean, like I said, that's what I believe will happen. Okay, do we, no, we call, it looks like, all right, there, uh, come on, come on, go up, go up, go up, come on, yes, yes. Yes, look at that. Look at that. I was right. I was right. See? See what I'm doing? Right? You can see, can't you? You can see that when you zoom out here, you can see the uptrend. Uptrend, pullback, uptrend. I'm closing this trade off. Done. I made 5% on that trade. Nice. Now, now keep an eye on what happens now. See how we come to this level here, right? We come to this level. We haven't actually quite touched that level. We haven't quite touched that level yet. But we'll take a sell from here because I know. Hold on, let price come up to it. Here we go. Here, watch this, right? Watch this. You see, we got another level, right? We see how we got another level here. See that? Okay. So I know again, going back to the principles of what I said. Okay, we know all the buyers here that are now in profit, like you and me, start closing their positions off at this level, like literally what I just did. I just closed my position off at this level. So we are gonna see price pulling back again. Now again, are we gonna pull back here? Or are we gonna pull back all the way down here and go into a downtrend? I don't know, but what I do know is we are going to get a reaction from this level. So guarantee again, we'll get a red candle at this level. There's my red candle, I'm gonna take a sell, right? Uh, and we'll go with 30 pips this time. 
Okay, we'll go with 30 pips. So I take a sell. We might lose this trade. We might not. I mean, we've got a big, look at that big buying pressure. Okay, so this could actually be against the trend. This could actually literally just be a pullback. Okay, this could be a pullback before continuation up. I don't know. I mean, we, we're going to pull back anyway. It's just oh, how, how far are we going to pull back? Okay. Okay, done. Okay, I might close it off there. I might close that trade off there. And the reason being is because you see here, see there, see that? We might actually now go uptrend and then continuation up. But I don't know, I, you know, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm going to close that trade off just there. We're going to go up from this level. Ready for the green, ca get ready for the green candle. Oh, no, no. Okay, no, we, uh, we didn't do that. Okay, now we, oh no, I'm going to take one more trade. See what happens here. Okay. Okay, we're going sideways. Ah, here we, there, that, there. See this? See this, right? Just keep an eye on this. Look at this just here. Look at that. Look at that. See that? Right? Get rid, right, let's start again. Let's start again. Okay. Let's start again because we've got a lot of stuff. Okay, you ready? So, we had a uptrend, which I got that right, which was perfect. Uptrend. Then we come down. Then we pull back. Then we come down. See that? See that just there? And in fact, if you actually just bring it just here, look at that nice little break and retouch here. See that? See that break and retouch? This is happening now. This is happening right now. That break and retouch. Pull back, new low. Pull back, comes down, retouches. Look at that, look at that retouch just there. See that? Big red candle just appears just there. We sell. We sell just there. Now, I'd actually cheat and actually say I would literally enter as soon as this candle starts forming. So as it starts bringing like this here, I'm like, yeah, I'm going for, give you an example here, 20 pip stop loss now. So I'm, re I'm really, really starting to knuckle in now and get that perfect entry point. Let's see what happens. Next bar. Okay, bang, done. Uh, there you go, stop. In. It's, 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 uh, there we go. We made 12% gain. 12% gain and that is it you see what I'm doing here right I want you to start to do this as well right look at the bigger picture so let's start off by looking at the bigger picture where are areas where price has reversed where price has been reversed here okay uh, just there so I know a lot of sellers are going to come into play here and here as well just want to take note here see here right see here See here, so all, and this is this is literally live. You know, if you watched last the last training session we had, when I said about you've got a demand level, you've got a supply level. So these are the institutional levels, right? Sellers, buyers. In between here are just support and resistance levels, right? So you've got support, you've got resistance, right? Demand, supply. Okay, supply and demand. So a lot of traders talk about supply and demand and support and resistance. These levels in between the demand and supply is support and resistance. So this is a demand zone because prices come down to it and reversed from it. Okay. All the little nickel bickles like here is the support and resistance, right? Watch, watch this now. Watch how price comes down to this level, right? It might take, you know, it might take a few days. It might take a few weeks. But if price comes down to this level, we will get a lot of buys from this level because the institutions start coming into play. Let me see if that happens, okay? I'm not going to take a trade, but just to kind of prove a point, okay? Um, no, okay, so we don't come down to it. Or we might come down to it. Let's see what happens. Uh, there, see, see what happens as price comes down into this level. Okay, as price comes down into this level here, right? A lot of traders start buying from this level. So see what happens, right? You, you see how we start getting green, green candles, right? We come back down. Do we continue up? Yeah, there you go. See that level? See that level just there? See that? It's magic, isn't it? It's magic. 
right? But it's not magic. It just makes, you know, it just, once you start to kind of see the supply and demand, the support and resistance, the uh, the trend, the strength of the trend, the pullbacks, the highs and higher lows. So yeah, I'm going to leave that there, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that mini series. I hope you've mastered support and resistance now. And yeah, I wish you all the best in your trading career. And yeah, if you have any questions, don't forget to drop me an email at thebinaryshow at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you.